good for... Wait, what's going on? Hold on a sec, sorry. I got... I'm getting messaged by someone. Okay, all right, that's fine. I can deal with that later. All right, what here is good? Cleaving shot. Each time you do crit damage with your ranged weapon attack or reduce the target to zero hit points, you deal your weapon damage to all other enemies in a 10-foot radius. That's a strong option. We'll hover that. Distracting shot. Your ranged weapon attacks are dangerous enough for the enemy to forget about melee threats. If you hit an enemy with a ranged weapon attack, they receive a penalty on armor class against melee attacks, equal to half your mythic rank for one round. Well, my mythic rank is one right now. So that's not huge. Um... Always a chance. You don't automatically miss when you roll a 1 on uh, attacks. Elemental Barrage. Domain Zealot. Just help Enduring Spells. Ever ready. Uh, whenever you make an AOO, uh, archers don't really get AOOs. Uh, your ranged weapon attacks expose vulnerable points. Every third hit with a ranged weapon against the same enemy does, uh, does an additional 1d6 per 2 Mythic Ranks Divine Damage. Leading strike, uh, your strikes make a crack in enemy defense. Every time you hit a target in melee... Oh, that's melee only. Okay. Uh, every time you miss an enemy with a ranged weapon attack, your aim improves, giving you a stacking plus one bonus on attacks against the same enemy, up to your max mythic rank. Every successful hit lessens the bonus. The bigger they are, you gain a bonus on attack rolls with ranged weapons equal to the penalty to armor class the target receives from their size. Thundering Blows, that's melee. Unrelenting Assault, that's melee. Unstoppable. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to keep Cleaving Shot. We saw, assuming that wasn't just, like, scripted, we saw her open up with a quad shot on one enemy earlier. So, if any one of those could cleave, that's pretty great. And then she gets another Mythic level. Flawless attacks. You only suffer minus four on iterative attack, so plus five. Uh, crit attacks are chosen deadlier than most. Crit range increased. Point blank shot mythic. Rapid shot. When you use a rapid shot, you ignore the minus two penalty on attack roll. Um, can you use both of those at the same time? Yeah, you can. Okay, so I don't have to choose one or the other. Someone said crit range is strong with cleaving. Improve critical mythic. Okay, I'll get him. Uh, there's a lot of cool options. Mythic feats, really nice. All right, I'll take that advice. Improve mythic longbow, and then she gets another one. All right, uh, so this is another mythic ability, which I'm actually less interested in. So we got distracting shots, was fine. Um, ranging shots, we'll, we'll get distracting shots. We've always got melee up in there, all up in there. All right, she's good. Now, everybody else happened to level up during this. So druid level up, bop, bop, bop. Aspect of the bear. You take on the aspect of a bear, you get plus two enhancement bonus to natural armor bonus to armor class. And plus two enhancement bonus on combat uh, CMB rolls. Uh, that's kind of cool. So right now I'm, I've been using aspect of the falcon, which gives everyone a bonus to ranged attacks. I think I'm actually going to keep using that, though. Okay. Uh, Sela. I want her to continue with Fighter Tower Shield Specialist. And... Do that. And what do we want here? Uh, armor Focus? I've already got Heavy Armor Focus. Preferably something that helps with surviving. We don't, there's not a lot left. Defensive Combat Training? Sure. Just for lack of a better option. Hey, Mark, sorry for the get over two question. No, it's fine. They're welcome. 
Uh, I just leveled a ranger and I started using Valen's one build that he made a video on. Where does the survivability come from? Shall we be merging in and out of beast mode to let my pet tank? Uh, Brandorino, I'm not, I don't know of that video, so I can't just flat out give you the answer, or I would. I don't, I'm not sure what the build is. I will tell you that if you're in the open world, having your pet tank for you makes most things very easy. If your pet has more toughness than you, like a bear or a jacaranda, most enemies will hit your pet instead of you, and then it, everything becomes a cakewalk. Um, of course, that's only true in open world, not in, like, PvP or something. Uh, damage reduction. That's wonderful. And... Ba -da 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 -da. Sure. And... Oracle. Uh, Darren's gonna level up. Oh, man, Damon, Darren was right there watching when I was thirsting. <laughs> Angelic Aspect. Uh, resistance, give us effects for saves. In addition, your natural weapons and armor are good align. Mass Cure Light Wounds. I don't know if that's better than... The Pillar of Life. Interesting. Vine Trap, Serenity... Raise dead. Restore to life a dead party member, but requires a diamond. I don't have diamonds, but I'm going to get this now for future possible needs. Sylvan Sorcerer for Noxy. Uh, let's see. Animal growth is good. Start to go. What is it? Is animal growth a minute a level or ten minutes level? It's a minute a level, so I can't make that last a day. I need to try to remember to see if I can buy some diamonds, or diamond dust, or both. Like, for example, um, stone skin for the whole team, that's insane. But that is, it takes 10 diamond dust to cast that. But that's like, use this on the biggest boss of the game, because this is freaking crazy. Uh, Soul Beast with BM and Skirmishing, Greatsword Longbow, uh, Open World Content, just stay out of Beast Will, it take less of Bursting. Yeah, so Brand Arena for open world content, I usually uh, run Soul Beast and I'm unmerged and the pet tanks for me. And then if the pet gets low health, you can actually merge and then unmerge immediately just to give the pet a full heal anytime you need to. It's kind of a cheap trick, but it's only got a 10 second cooldown. What's genie kind? Choose a type of genie to transform into. What? Life bubble. It freely. Do you run Smoke Scale? No, because when the Smoke Scale is doing Smoke Assault, when it's going like teleport, 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 it's not targetable, so the enemy runs straight at you. So usually if I'm out in the open world, I will run uh, Jacaranda. And if I didn't have that, I'd run a bear. Or maybe a, a Drake. Break enchantment. It frees all allies from enchantments, transmutations, and curses. Okay, I like that. We'll get that. Uh, Alright, these will go much faster. These are just the animals. They don't have a lot to choose from. You know, there was a, a lich thing later on that I don't have yet. It was like skeletal bard. And that would actually be great right now, because it would uh, give us what we're missing in our party now. All right, we're gonna tap quick save. The grave is well tended. It is much more recent than the chapel beside it. There's no name on the tombstone, only an elegant butterfly of Desna. Follow my lead. Over there. Uh, all right. Please, allow me. Alright. <laughs> you are off to a great start. You are off to a great start. Okay, great. Alright. Wonderful. Oh, skip the pleasantries. Go in the house? I mean, I got a lot of stuff to check. What's that? Oh, we found the Mercy, Bell of Mercy Clapper. How do I get back there? Oh, I have to go all the way around? 
Oh my gosh. Lots of spell be. scrolls. Oh, a new arrival. Uh, there's also the loot. Hold on a sec. The, the loot from the boss fight with the hag, we weren't able to grab it because of the cutscene. So I'm going to jog back over there and get that. Why is she... Wait, what is this? Desna watches over her protege. By the will of the goddess, a whirlwind of sacred butterflies carries Arushalay to safety whenever she faces mortal peril. Oh, <laughs> what? Wow. A whirlwind of butterflies. What is that? Enhanced weapons. You received an item quarter staff which can bypass damage reduction out of mantine or cold iron despite not being made from the right material. Plus three, four, and five items can bypass certain times of DR. Any plus three weapon automatically bypasses DR cold iron and a plus four bypasses out of mantine. A plus five will do full damage to a creature DR that is based on alignment. I've never heard that rule. Is that in pen and paper? Uh, does anybody puck, know? Puck. I've never heard that. Uh, whenever the wearer of this amulet is under blood rage, they gain fast healing five. Uh, is that rage? No, uh, that's blood rage only. Okay. That is not far. Okay, nobody in the party spotted that. I finished here. Is there more? No one saw that. Good job on the lock picking, though. All right, now we're gonna go check out the house that y'all mentioned. How good of a quiver was that you picked up? Twenty rounds of cursed ammo. They can be entangled by an unholy vine. Hey, Chip. He's actually facing the camera. A rare treat for you guys. What's up? Normally, I'll just have to stare at his backside. Alright, uh, let's really quickly do one of these. Alright, to the Belfry. So I guess I could have done this before fighting the crone to make it easier in some way. I'm glad I was useful to you. Reunited with a clapper produces a gentle, melodious ringing. Follow what did that do to us? Good hope. Plus two morale saving bonus on saving throws, attack rolls, ability checks, skill checks, what we did. Oh, it would have it gives us like a one hour big buff. Cool. I gotta say, a lot of variety in the humanoids in this game. If you just think about the humanoids we met that we could have brought along with us on our journey, it was a half-lizard man, a spider-cat woman, and now a succubus that found God. That's a, that's a lot of variety. Next playthrough chat, we date them all. <laughs> We're doing this like uh, Doctor Who's Captain Jack. Captain Jack Harkness. Date anyone and everything. Uh, Alright, is this an exit? It is an area exit. Okay, wonderful. Okay, we'll clear this whole place. Now I know how to get Arushale, I guess. Oh, Daren's lagging behind because he's pouting. Uh, if I keep using Arushale, the next time I'm in town, I will need to see if there's any gear currently on Loranity that I should move over. Oh, man. No, if you guys... Okay, I need you guys. I need to, you guys to, like, none of you, if you talk to Laura soon, don't tell her I, I, I totally fired her from my party because I met a cute demon, okay? I'm trusting you guys on that. I need you to not say anything about that. All right, we got some kind of a alert in the town window. 
Uh, enchanting the unholy symbol of Rovagug has been completed. Uh, military tribunal has been completed. Let's see. Um, army. Wait, is this this over here on the right? Does that mean it's done? Another decree is enacted for logistics. Oh, did they just fix this? Th this message here wasn't here last time. An old supplicant. Uh, some strange drunk claims the commander was obliged to grant him an audience. Enchanting the unholy symbol of Rovagug. A blacksmith has arrived at Dresden. He's impressed oh, by the axe filled with Rovagug's power. He wishes to make improvements to the relic and suggests tempering it with one of the techniques known to him. Um, plus two radiant weapon. Whenever you confirm a crit, you absorb part of the magical essence to spelling a random spell. Uh, whenever you're wielding this plus two corrosive burst weapon, you have plus three to attack rolls when performing AOOs. Your critical threat range is doubled. If you successfully land an attack opportunity, the enemy must bypass the fortitude saving throw or become paralyzed for one round. These are insane, but I I would probably just make this, then sell it for 50,000 gold and use that to buy town stuff. Wait, once per round, when the wielder of this weapon is paralyzed, staggered, stunned, petrified, or entangled, they suffer the weapon's damage and immediately remove such an effect. So it's an axe, but whenever you get crowd control, it hits you and snaps you out of it. That's terrifying. Uh, okay. Any Anything is fine, so I'm just going to take the first option. Many legends tell of heroes' weapons acquiring magical powers after touching the blood of monsters. The axe might possess the dark seal of the destroyer, but the weapon can also serve a good cause. The ba blade? The baldy smith. The bald smith. He smiths bald people. The bald smith took the weapon and went to the wastelands to slaughter wild animals and harden the blade with their blood. When the blade began to shine like the sun in a looking glass and its mere touch drank the life from monsters, the bald smith returned and ceremoniously... Wow, they did it twice. Returned and uh, ceremoniously presented the commander with the cleansed weapon. He, it, two times they called it a bald smith. Impressive. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, let's go back to the map. <laughs> the bald swarm. Okay, so where is my army? There they are. Um, I kind of want to clear this area down here. Let's do this. Why did he stop there? That was weird. Uh, okay, go back to these guys. Wait, what? Why is it pathing all the way around? Oh, I had never connected that road, I guess. Alright. Um... Let's see. Night Gambler, Citadel. Alright, I've got two people in the Citadel I gotta talk to. Guild, mm, how you doing, dude? Guild, Guild MM, Guild MM. You, you, you remember the, the background I had when you visited last time? I made one for if uh, if our friend CMC decides that he uh, ever wants to stop by. And uh, it's this. <laughs> Always prepared. Uh, a Kellid in a well-worn travel robe with a deep hood offers you a respectful bow. His voice is quiet and emotionless. Greetings, Commander. To be granted an audience with a figure of such importance is a great honor. Your victories have impressed and inspired me, which is why I wish to do my part in the Crusader's struggle. Um, who are you? Oh, a new arrival. Uh, the visitor's quiet words sound like the rustling of pages, dry and impersonal. My name is Velg, and I am a Kelid. My lineage dates back to the Sarkorian clans, and bonds of kinship have always been sacred to my family. When the world wound opened, my ancestors fled Sarkoris, but they did not forget their homeland. Even before the Crusades began, my great-great-grandfather marched in defense of our people. He perished, as they all did. 
My great-grandfather and his eldest sons joined the First Crusade. My grandfather joined the Second. Our family's warriors have fought in every crusade, and that is why our bloodline is now extinct. They say this crusade will be the last, and so I've come, alone, for there is no one else. Alas, I'm no warrior, but I still wish to be of use to you. How do you plan to help them? His words, devoid of color and emotion, run together to form a monotonous, endless stream. For 23 years, I have been gathering documents on Sarkoris. They contain numerous mentions of the history of the Blackwater Clan. The clan was beset by demons, as its members had dedicated themselves to creating a powerful weapon against the world wound. The clan needed more time, but no support came from their neighbors, and so the Blackwaters were destroyed. But the fate of the clan is not important right now. What is important is that thanks to certain ancient maps, I've been able to pinpoint the location of their settlement. If you go there, you'll be able to verify my findings. And if you happen to find a weapon, that will help you fight the demons. It will bring me satisfaction and pride, and my life will have a purpose. Dude, there's an option to execute him. Oh my god. What kind of weapon were they working on? My thoughts on this matter are pure speculation. Perhaps it was a blade that could cut down even a demon lord, or an artifact that could call upon an endless host of spirits, or a circlet that could reverse the flow of time or erase the planar invaders from reality. The Blackwater clan operated in secrecy to protect their work from spies, unfortunately an ever-present concern, and to avoid drawing the demon's attention for the time is right. Um... You have an odd way of speaking. His pale expressionless face twists into a poor approximation of an apologetic smile. I am a scholar, I know how to speak through manuscripts and prefer to express my thoughts using my quill instead of my tongue. Social interaction is not my area of expertise, so I ask for your understanding when it comes to my rather rudimentary communication skills. Thank you. I'll put this information to use. He bows deeply. It pleases me to be of use to you. Uh, the execute option would have been nice. Oh my god, you're a madman. Uh, why are we next to Darren while he's on a hot tub? Oh my god, I'm about to get banned from Twitch. Just came to say hello real quick. Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. You too, buddy, because it's about to get weird. <sighs> the air is filled with a spicy, heady fragrance and steam gently... I'm sorry, hold on. Why does this guy think? It's like, this is the first game I've ever played in my life where it's like someone else is flirting with me. And I keep hitting no to the dialogue options and they're like, I gotta try something else. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, I, he's, like, I keep selling him no and he's like, two castles full of roses next time. The air is filled with a spicy, heady fragrance, and steam gently rises from the bathtub. Darren is perched on the lip of the tub, holding on with both hands for balance while lazily swinging one with one leg. His face is the picture of innocence. Ah, oh, my dear commander, you're just in time. I took the liberty of looking after your well-being and have prepared everything you needed for a relaxing bath. Bathing for pleasure is most therapeutic indeed and is essential for healing, rest, and sound sleep. <laughs> yeah, I got a goth girlfriend now. <laughs> Uh <laughs> Okay, I'm not pressing it, but number four makes me laugh. Your attempts to please me are commendable and you may continue your efforts. Uh What is that smell? Herbs from mountain meadows. I know many professionals prefer to add scented oils, rose petals, or foam to a hot bath. I choose herbs. They are simply superior in every aspect, and they inspire thoughts of freedom. Goth girlfriend, no. Two. Five, choice five, choose three. Three is is very thoughtful. I mean, did he break in? Dude, I love how his cape is in the tub. The cloak of resistance, just chilling in the water. Just watch your least XL DR video, thanks for the great video. You're very welcome, Red. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Why not four? Because I don't like him that way. I don't like him that way. Do what your heart tells you? Could you perhaps not break into my study without my permission in the future? He frowns a little. Of course I could. Certainly. He rises to his feet. I apologize for the intrusion. I see my attention is unwelcome. Say no more. This will never happen again. I'm totally keeping that bathtub, though. I'm, I'm taking that bath. 
Damon looks around as if not exactly sure what he is doing here. Ah, Commander, how's our crusade doing? Uh, I, am I about to lose my healer? Is he about to quit because he's heartbroken? Uh, what brings you to me? Oh, it's a trifling little thing. I wish to make a donation to the Crusade cause. It seemed a smart decision to me, because what's good for the Crusade is now tightly intertwined with what's good for yours truly. I did have to give the revenue for my estates a good shake-up and send a few couriers scurrying about, but in the end I managed to acquire a couple of decent items. All in all, here is my donation to the Crusade and its commander. You must try them out for yourself. I offer these gifts from the bottom of my heart. Wand of Pox Pustules and Wand of Ray of Sickening. <laughs> this is the most roundabout go F yourself I've ever heard in my life. Just a second. Hmm. Um. <laughs> uh, I could sense your agenda in the choice of gl uh, gifts. Clever. He smirks slightly. I thought of you while selecting these gifts, and now I must beg your forgiveness and bid you farewell. I still have plans to order and send a package of special gifts to my dearest cousin. <laughs> his, qu his cousin's the queen. She's the one who made him come here. So I think he's gonna send her and go bleep yourself too. By the way, take a closer look at my gifts. You may find something special in there. <sighs> Did I even get to use the, the cozy bathtub? Zachariah stares at you coldly. So far, you've proven better at managing the crusade than Galfrey. However, since you are now my student, you'll require very specialized advice from me. Is this the lich? I have news for you, my student. As rumors of the death of a lord in Mendev began to spread, exiles from the far corners of Avistan started to trickle into Dresden. These exiles are the ones who kept practicing the art of death despite its prohibition. Most of them are criminal scum, but scum can sometimes be useful, no? What would you like to do with them? Will you give them your protection, or will you drive them away after impaling their heads on the unluckiest of spikes? Uh, have you decided to serve the crusade as my advisor? You need a mentor, don't you? I intend to see your transformation into a lich through until the end. It is my only way to freedom, so you need to survive this war and come out on top. What are the consequences of this? However vile they are, they may come in handy. More necromancers at our side means more obedient undead under our command. And besides, these exiles know how to survive. Their spells and rituals may surprise us yet. Alternatively, you can banish them and proclaim the Dark Arts to be the privileged domain of your chosen servants, the most talented and loyal of all. This act could inspire the rest to deepen their knowledge. After all, a single ambigu ambitious necromancer is more devastating on the battlefield than a dozen dabblers. Um. Okay, wow, there is a lot to look at here. Alright, so if you execute them, we get 10 morale. Uh, if all adepts of death magic will enjoy my protection, that gives us... Undead units gain a cult enchantment. Bonus to attack and armor. Generals learn bone shield. Does physical damage to a... Oh, bone arrow, sorry. Wait, what? It says bone shield, but when I mouse over it, it says bone arrow. <laughs> uh, I think we found a bug. Uh, false grace. All allies get bonus hit points. Okay, and if I say Necromancer can only be practiced by conscripted magicians, we are not turning the Crusade into a gaggle of misfits and freaks. All generals gain knowledge of the Chosen Ones and learn Siphon Time. All units in the army gain haste and enemy units get slow. Oh, that is huge. And Bone Arrow. Does massive damage to one unit. This is an arcane spell. All undead units get plus one attack and plus one armor. I'm thinking... I don't really like the idea of a bunch of just random dudes in alleyways being necromancers in my town. That feels like that could uh, get out of hand real fast. Siphon time, that's insane. 
Haste on all allies, slow on all enemies. Like, that's a change the tide of a battle spell. Alright. We're not turning the crusade into a gaggle of misfits and freaks. This is wise. I too choose my servants and students with care. 